Hi guys, here's to here with Tech. Welcome everybody, especially the Samsung fans, of course, and the fans of Yearning School Camera Reports. It has been a while since I made a video about Google Camera on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, of course, running with the Snapdragon 845 chipset. And yeah, it's just been a while, guys. Now, there is a new release from Yearnix on the Google Camera 7.3 version 1.6. And why I decided to test it on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9? Well, let's find out. Change lock. Added support for four lenses on the Redmi K30 Pro. Corrected the name of the AUX lenses again on the K30 Pro. Added the option to change lens aperture on Samsung devices, only Snapdragon. Thanks, Zorn. For the call and guys you know this device it has a variable aperture it can go from f1.5 to f2.4 so here you now this thing which called the aperture can just widen up and shrink right and this is what we call a variable aperture if you want to understand more about some basic smartphone terminology you can check my video here where i'm explaining like you know what is aperture what is iso what is shutter speed like these main three things okay but let's go back to google camera out of the code that dynamically changes the title of the option to enable ID4 and ID5 and the corresponding lip patches depending on the device. Out of the option to set max brightness in viewfinder. Fixed crush on HTC U12 Plus. So guys, if you have the HTC 12 Plus, this will also work on your phone. You must use Virox Send Buffer Fix, updated creation, Dutch sort translations, and clean up the code. All right, this sounds quite nice, so let's start a download. And with that said, guys, I'm going to remove my old Google camera here. The Google camera that I'm using right now on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was the one based by Exynos Mode. So again, it's based on Unix 05, created by Exynos, the X9S Mode. All right, guys, let's try to uninstall this camera, okay? Uninstall. And then let's install the new camera and yeah, just test it. All right, so let's see where the download is going. Okay, saving it from here, save downloads, right? Pressing it directly from here. Do you want to install this application? Oh yeah. Press install. I've put a little camera in my camera folder and I'm going to start it for the very first time. Okay, opening it, allow camera to take pictures and record video, allow, allow only using the app, allow, allow, right? And with that said, boom, it's there. Go to settings all the time. I'm doing this, go to info, and we can see it's Gcam 7.3, 18 by Unix is version 1.6. And guys, because I wanna give you more, I'm also installing this XML for the Unix camera. Now this XML is created by a guy called Rob, and it should provide like a more natural look. So I think it's called Rob 7.3. So it's an XML he created both for Unix and for the Unova 7.3. I have downloaded the Unix version and let me show how you can install a custom XML or a custom configuration in your Google camera on the Samsung. Okay, first we need to save the XML. So Rob Everyday Unix 7.3, that's what we need. Okay, save to downloads. Okay, now let's open files. Okay, then we go to downloads. Okay, Rob Everyday Unix 703. Now guys, it's very important. You need to take the XML file and place it inside the GCAM folder, inside the config seven folder. Now I understood that some of these versions from the Google camera do not create the GCAM folder. So if you don't have the GCAM folder, you need to manually create this and then inside put a folder called config seven. Just see what I'm doing right now here, okay. Just cut the file, okay. okay. And now I'm going to find my folder inside internal storage guys folder should be called gcam okay now you see since i don't have this folder right now what i need to do guys i need to create a new folder so i am creating a folder called gcam create now i have created a folder called gcam inside this folder i need to create another one okay so let's create another folder and this time the folder is called configs 7 i have created a folder called gcam inside a folder called config 7 and then inside I move the file. Now for us to see if it works, now when you open the Google camera and you double tap the area around the shutter button, you should see here, choose config, Rob Everyday Unix 7.3, press restore and then boom, you're gonna have all the settings, you know, from this XML. And now guys, first let's see some of the settings. If we go like this, okay. We have safe location, I always choose this as on, camera sounds off, Google Lens suggestions on, framing hints on, self selfie as previewed, this is a preference of yourself, social share off, very nice, gestures, grid type, frequent faces, okay, do not disturb. Let's go now to advanced, okay, if we go to advanced, we have short dirty lens warning, nice. Raw and JPEG control now, guys, this doesn't work on the Google camera 7 hex, so if you have 
the need to work and manipulate with raw photos, use GCam 6. Okay, store videos efficiently, this we can do, this one not. Okay, lip parcher is there, pixel auto white balance, IMX 586, XGR frames, we have again 25 is the max. Maximum screen brightness, disable zoom in portrait, auxiliary camera, I think this already has been enabled, but yeah, it doesn't really work on my Samsung. And guys, this is now the very important feature, specifically done or created for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 phone or the Samsung S9 phone, only with the Snapdragon version. The default aperture is f1.5, but you can change it apparently to f2.4. So let's just put it like this. Okay, show aperture button. Very nice, you can directly change the aperture size direct in the viewfinder, camera photo resolution full, use third party gallery not. Okay, 4K video, not in that case. Okay, we have video stabilization, we have optical video stabilization. All right, that's nice. Guys, I had to restart the camera to just get the aperture button here, but it's there. All right, so let's see if we just, okay, take a picture of the cube right now, okay? Let's do it like that. Okay, let's actually make sure that we are using HDR enhanced. Okay, perfect. Cool, auto wind balance, let's just put it to auto for now, okay? Very nice, indeed. Nice picture, let's wait for the processing. You see what I mean? Very nice. Now let's change the aperture size. If I press like this, you see? You see how it widened? Okay. Let's try to do it again. Let's try a picture again with this aperture. Okay. Guys, now we're probably not gonna able to see any big difference right now because you know we're using this in the daylight, but we know that it's working. Okay, you see? Now we have the big one. Okay. Pressing it. Okay, you see? Now it's changed to the small one. Let's just go back to settings and see if there is something else interesting, guys. If we go here to info, we're gonna see the version of the camera. That's true, we have config here, all the settings. And if we go here to the change log, pretty much you see guys, this is an everyday config. It's the first release from this guy. It's great for everyday use, also using it on low light. And the idea is to provide like a more natural look. So let's do some more photos guys, all right. Very nice. You can see the level of detail. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice, guys. Okay. I think with that said, guys, this has been the Google Camera 703 Unix version 1.6, specifically tailored and working on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Of course, it also works on the OnePlus 7, 7 Pro whatsoever. This here has the Snapdragon 845, so if you have a Snapdragon 845 device or if you have a Snapdragon 855 device, probably this camera will work on your device. I hope guys that you liked watching this video. Thank you really for watching my videos. I really appreciate all support I'm getting from you. Stay at home. Stay safe, you and your families. With that said, VST over and bye.